Hey, what's going on guys? Safe on Talk, and we are back today talking about how to get through the campaign incredibly fast, um, incredibly easily on a followed up playthrough. Okay, so this is after, you know, you've already made a character, you've gotten some currency, you're like, I want to make a new character, I want to level it, but I want to level it fast, um, and I want to rip through it as quickly as possible. Okay. Now, honestly, my second and third characters, when I make them and I level them, I actually don't really fear going through the campaign as much because to be honest with this method it's actually pretty fun to be this strong and start one-shotting everything except for bosses which will take you know two to three shots okay so what are we talking about okay the um the main thing we are going to be using some of you may know this strategy already is the one with nothing one with nothing small cluster jewel okay and that is going to give us the hollow palm technique. Uh, what this does is you can read, you count as dual wielding while you are under unencumbered. Um, more attack speed and melee skills. And the big one is you get flat physical damage to melee skills per 10 dexterity while you are unencumbered. Unencumbered means you don't have a weapon, you don't have an offhand, you don't have gloves on. So these three slots have to be empty. Can't have anything in them. And then you're gonna get that damage boost. So this is a small cluster jewel, so your main strategy is going to be on the tree, is getting to the first outside cluster jewel spot that you can get to. So as you see right now, oh, I'm playing a shadow. Um, the closest one is right here. So level one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then when you put the jewel in, you hit twelve. The jewel is going to create the skill right here. You select it. So a shadow can get this by level 12. Um, that is very early. That might be the earliest possible one that someone can get it. Any any build can do this. Um, any class can do this. It depends just how strong they get. But even then, they're still going to get plenty strong uh, because there's going to be nodes to make up for that. So let's talk about some of the beginner items uh, that really help. Uh, there's a lot of videos on these. I'm not going to go over them in depth. Uh, just real quick um, for boots you can get one or less boots or seven league step boots for movement speed I like the one or less boots uh, because they give increased movement speed and also mana regeneration and in the beginning when you first start uh, using the hollow palm jewel and you start using it with the smite scale which we're gonna go into in a minute um, mana can be an issue uh, in the early stages um, and then as you go you could probably switch to seven league step um, or other movement speed boots uh, that you want it so those are two great options for that uh, for the helm usually use a gold rim obviously for the 10% um, increased rarity no, I'm just kidding it's the resistances so again these are for the resistances um, you go to um, the hoop of all iron rings uh, just 25% increased damage resistances um, all that good stuff also adds 1 to 4 physical damage to attacks uh, level 24 this is a huge power jump now for an amulet, this is probably the biggest power spike, is at level 20 you can wear an Astramentus. And remember with the one for nothing jewel, you get per you get flat attack damage per 10 dexterity. So we are stacking decks as much as possible. So that includes in the tree. Obviously this build is going to be, <laughs> this class is going to be amazing at it because it gets a lot of dexterity. There's some dexterity. You go down here, get the, get the cluster node as fast as possible, and then you get some other no-brainer ones like 10% to dex, increased uh, attack and cast speed, no-brainer. Um, 20 to dex, 5 to movement speed, 20% um, increased physical damage, no-brainer. So a shadow is amazing for this strategy. You're going to do a ton of damage once you start being able to use um, uh, smite and the links and all the other stuff I'm going to show you in a minute. So the astramentus gives you a ton of attributes and I believe these aren't too crazy yeah 20 chaos okay um, if this is your second your third fourth character you should be able to buy all the stuff that I'm showing you very very easily okay and I have anointed it with utmost swiftness if you don't know what anoints are um, it's the thing where you go to Cassia use the three oils you get from uh, the blighted mechanic um, and you anoint it so I anointed it with utmost swiftness which is going to give it plus 40 dexterity, 8% increased dexterity. That is a huge 
boost. Utmost swiftness, I believe, is down here. Yeah. So it'll allocate this for you, even though you don't have to go all the way down here um, and get it. Although it wouldn't even be that terrible of a thing because you're getting dexterity this entire way. Okay, but still. So that is a huge power jump. Now, the armor you use, you will see, you know, a lot of people saying tabula is the best, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's certainly the most affordable and the best six link you can get for early game for super cheap. Okay, but this is not what I use. This is always an option, but I don't like it because you will start to feel the fact it has no defense on it, like relatively early, like 35, 40, um, you know, around like act five, you are going to start to feel um, how squishy you kind of get. So what I suggest using is a skin of the loyal. Don't get that confused with skin of the lords. Um, skin of the loyal gives you plus one um, to the socket of gems in the armor, 100% uh, increased global defenses, um, and the skills cannot, the sockets cannot be modified. Don't worry about that. So I use this for obvious reasons. The plus one level of the socket of gems helps a ton. That means even when you're rushing through stuff, even if you aren't killing as much stuff, you are still ahead of the curve because your gems are, you know, your main attack skills and everything that else are still a level, um, level above. So what I would do is I would get a four red, a blue, and a green. Okay. So if we go down here to the trade, type in skin of the loyal you go down here to socket filters you go to links we want four red one blue one green all linked click search 100 chaos 120 chaos this is the most expensive out of all the items but it's not even that crazy like i said if this is your second third character which it should be um you can you can easily afford this now you can even get ones with even better stuff like Level of socket to trap of my gems, that really doesn't matter. 6% increase to max my energy shield. You know, that might be good, but um, you, just, you could just buy a simple one with the right colors. All right. And the reason for that is because you want to use the smite um, attack skill. This right here. Uh, smite is a um, AOE. You slam the ground. Um, it, it goes outward. It's got not a crazy radius but it's relatively big. Um, it's not, you know, it's not bad, you know? And the links I use for this are um, a mental damage with attack support, added fire damage support, astral call support, faster attack support, and the trinity support. So that's where I'm getting the four red, the blue and a green from. Now you won't be able to use all of these from level one, okay? What I usually do when I start a new character is after I get to um, the Act 1 town, I can go to Lily, I can remember what I need, or you can just turn on this guide and look. Um, I'll keep them up on the screen. So you can look and just type in, you know, okay, I need Smite. There's Smite. Um, I need, um, you know, uh, Elemental Damage with Attack Support. Get that. Um, get all the ones, even if they you don't have the level yet. I just keep them off to the side. And every couple levels, I just glance at my uh, inventory, see if something's not, you know, red anymore, see if I can wear. Okay. Um, some you won't be able to wear because of attribute stuff. But again, because of the Astramentus, you will be able to wear that at level 20 because it's going to give you a huge to all attribute. attribute. Ouch. Attributes bonus. Dull. Okay, and then the two auras I usually run are Herald of Ice. It's nice because uh, when you freeze people, they explode. Um, it gives it more of an AoE, makes clearing stuff a little bit easier. Um, and I also use Clarity. Uh, you don't have to use Clarity. I like Clarity. Um, I think it just makes it a little easier. Yeah, so as you level, um, you are going to be ripping through the campaign. Um, the, the only slot I think of I didn't talk about was the um, belt. Uh, this isn't too crazy. I like to use a string of servitude um, with resistances on it. This is about 60 chaos, I believe. Yeah, you could get it if you get a cheap one and get a 60, 65, 70 chaos. Um, just helps max out your resistances because at, you know, at two times through the story, uh, 
or yeah, t- twice through the story, they lower your resistances. Helps keep them capped, um, and it just makes things a little bit of a smoother uh, track. So this video was just supposed to be a quick rundown of, you know, using the unhandled palm technique and the um, deck stacking and hitting your power uh, spikes when you can with some good starting items. But we could go over real quick so you don't want to use smite. Uh, you know, you want to use an attack skill. Uh, you know, you're playing a witch, you want to use a spell. There's some other stuff in my starter item stash that you should, you know, consider getting. Um, say you want to play a ranger and you want to use a, um, a bow skill. What's really going to help you is stuff like the uh, silver branch in the beginning um, and items that add uh, elemental damage to attacks because you're most likely going to be using attack skill as a ranger. Um, so something like Sedima's Touch give you some fire and lightning damage to attack, some flat damage um, is really good. Um, and obviously this stuff still plays the gold rim, the wanderlust, uh, the six link. Uh, you wouldn't have to get these exact colors. You can decide or look up something to tell you what skills you should be using um, and what support gems you should be using for whatever skill you choose. Okay, same with the string of servitude that still plays. Now, if you're using a spell cast or anything with spells, um, these axiom scepters that you can use at level 10 especially if you dual wield them, are a huge damage boost. I know the 2 to fire, 2 to f- two to 5 fire, 2 to 5 cold, and the 1 to 12 lightning. Doesn't seem that crazy. It is a huge damage boost. And then once you get to 25, you can get a re- replica prism weave, rustic sash. This is a massive damage boost. I used these two level of witch, and I sent my friend a picture, I think, at level, yeah, level 25, my freezing pulse was doing like 3,000 DPS, level 25. It's a lot of damage. So that was really fun. Um, I actually enjoyed doing that. And then obviously with the little hoop earrings, uh, 25 increased damage, 50 right here. Um, super, super powerful. So those are some other items. Um, if you don't need the attributes because you're not using the uh, uh, hollowed palm, you aren't deck stacking. Um, uh, at series foible is a really good one, especially for, uh, well, it's, actually it's really good for everything in the beginning because uh, it just completely gets rid of all your mana problems. Um, you don't have to use clarity if you're using this. You get a ton of mana, insane mana regeneration, and also items and gems have reduced attribute requirements. It's just a it's just a great amulet. You can probably get this for pretty cheap now too. Um, yeah, 10 chaos. So not too crazy. The only the only really expensive thing, and expensive in quotation marks, is um, the uh, skin of the loyal. But that's not too crazy if you already have a character. All right, so that was a quick video on how to do a uh, quick leveling with Smite um, guide into power through. So let me know in the comments. Um, let me know some build ideas that you guys have been playing that you really like, because I'm really, I'm drawing a blank on what I want to play next. I made a poison, uh, summon raging spirits that I like a lot, but um, it'd be nice to get something you know, really crazy or really kind of out there that a lot of people aren't doing. Um, so I got some build writer's block. So let me know what you guys are playing, what you're doing. Uh, if you knew this strategy already, uh, if you learned some stuff about this and uh, hopefully this helps you rip through the campaign uh, next time you got to do it.